Hola, Hola ¿cómo, ¿cómo están? están? We're in Mexico, Mexico, yes. Tulum, you guys. I would say we've been talking about coming to Tulum for at least for the past three years. Yeah, legit, Omaya has always told me, hey, can we go to Tulum? Can we go to Tulum? And we just haven't had the right time to go. Yeah. But alhamdulillah, like, it was just plain. We're like, let's go make a trip happen right before Ramadan. And, and we're here. We live in Florida, for those who don't know. So Tulum is about, or I would say Cancun, yep. that's the airport that we landed in. Um, it's about two hours away from where we live. So the plane ride to Mexico was super short. It was very comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just so smooth. And I just can't believe we didn't make this happen sooner. sooner. Yeah. But I'm yeah. so excited that we're here. Yep. We actually landed yesterday. But we were so tired uh, from just traveling. We got to the hotel, the room wasn't ready. So we had to wander around the hotel for at least three hours. Yeah. Um, we got something to eat. So by the time that we got our room, we were so exhausted. Mm -hmm. We just slept, relaxed, and then went for some dinner last night. So today's our first full day and we're gonna, we're gonna go, go to the shops. We're gonna go to the downtown area. We're gonna get familiar with everything there. We're also gonna go to this hotel called Azulik. Azulik. Azulik Hotel. So if you've ever been to Tulum, Mexico, I'm pretty sure you know where it's at. Um, there's nice areas for pictures. Yeah, or have heard of it. Yeah, and also restaurants because your boy's hungry, so we're gonna go get some food and just kind of get familiar with the area so we can know what we're gonna do for the rest of the trip. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're excited to just explore around and take you guys with us. Oh, and Sukela is joining us as well. <laughs> if you guys have followed us for a while, then you know that we love traveling with Sahela. It's just uh, we just complement each other, yeah. right? Yeah. I feel like we're just, we work so great together, especially when it comes to like traveling or just going out together. Yes. Yeah. So Halo's the one that pays attention mm -hmm. to everything, like directions and everything. So we would never get lost. Um, and then Muhammad is the one that asks all the questions, never afraid of asking a question. I never shut up. He's just like the social butterfly. And Omaya um, just plans everything. There and she makes our days. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, if plan. it was up to her, we would get lost all the time. Yeah, that's, all that's the like time. true. Every time we go somewhere, she's like, oh, I think it's over there. And it's like 100%. No, so it's like, it's no, no. no. It's, yeah, yeah, I'm just terrible with directions, like so bad. So now it's become a joke that whatever I say, like if we were to say like, the room is this way or the restaurant is this way, then you these two the will be like, way. Yeah. we go the opposite if way. We're unsure we just ask Hawaiian whatever she says we do the opposite listen we just compliment each other and we get along yeah. so great and we just love traveling and it just so happens that Suhaila is available yes. since she's a student <laughs> she can literally study from anywhere around the world uh -huh. so it's great alhamdulillah and are you excited to be here i'm so excited and thanks for the invitation of yeah. course yeah. we're going to that's an area we're going to get something to eat yes, we're going to go to please. a sulik and just explore it, yeah, get, yeah. get like uh, comfortable with the area that we're <laughs> yeah. in. Yes. But let me show you guys quickly the oh, yeah. apartment. <laughs> so when you walk in, you will see the dining room, also the living room, which is so spacious. I love the design. It's just so bohemian, so chic, so peaceful. I love this decoration so much. And then we have a big old kitchen over here. Yes, kitchen area with a hood so you can cook with the stove. If you go along the hallway. Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> there is a bathroom in here. This is kind of like a half bathroom. Mm -hmm. Like a guest bathroom. Like a guest bathroom. So yeah. whoever wants to come over, you know. And then this way. There are two rooms. We have two rooms. So this is our room we have here. A big size bed, a bathroom, and pretty much this is our side. It's very spacious, honestly. <laughs> I can't wait to show you guys Sayla's room. Come on. Oh. No, wait, no, no, no. I mean, this is Sue's room. Hey, you guys are embarrassing me right now. Oh. Okay. This is a room. <laughs> Listen. We, we, we threw two beds, so they gave her two twin beds. You just she, throw them together. The amount of times that I fell in between. Two, it's two twin beds, so because she not she didn't use this one, it's still like nicely, all nicely put together. I'm sorry, I'm not one. You can I clearly see that Suhaila stuck on this side. I can't make the bed. <laughs> Honestly, who makes beds? It's okay. That's what I'm saying. And uh, but it's pretty spacious. You have like your closet over here. 
She I like it a lot. Bright. And she has her own bathroom. Yeah, don't open it. No, no, no. Nice. Oh see. god. <laughs> room, which is nice. And her shower and her toilet, so it's pretty like private. I love that. But yeah, I love this apartment. It's just so cozy. And show us the outside. The outside. Oh, oh yeah, the outside. Come on. The outside area is our oh, yeah. favorite area. <laughs> wow! <laughs> the street. This area is just so beautiful because you get to see all of the trees. Show me, show me. View, um, which is really awesome. Also, another thing that I love about this hotel is that it's not very loud. Like you would think of Tulum as like being a party place, a, a loud place. And actually this hotel is very quiet. We even had to sign this form that said like, you guys will After be quiet. Like or like no <laughs> you will music. remain quiet past nine o'clock. Like, you know, no parties or anything and like that. that. Yeah. Let's yeah. take a picture of Oh, let's take a picture of Bob. Yeah, have your phone? Look at yeah. this view. Doesn't it feel like we're in the middle of like a jungle? That's the yeah, thing. that's the jungle. That's jungle. the Tulum vibes. It makes you feel like you're in a jungle. But it's a residential jungle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take some pictures of Mom. Look at Omaya take. Omaya's like hugging the thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is all we've been doing. Taking pictures. Taking pictures of each other. Here, do you like the photo? Ooh. That's nice. It's nice. Okay, guys. So we have our pictures. We're dressed. Now we're ready to get out of here and explore. Let's go. super early and we're getting ready to go on a tour this is what we've been waiting for this is why we came to tulum we wanted to visit the cenotes and also zipline and atv um we've been dying to do some sort of activity on this trip although sightseeing is so much fun and taking pictures and videos we just wanted to get away and just do some fun activities on this trip also i didn't vlog so much of yesterday because we were just exploring around town but we just wanted to like go around the area just get comfortable because we still have a few more days Woo! look at Muhammad! oh he is he is water ready <laughs> Yeah. Okay, who are you? <laughs> I don't even know. I love it. It's like so weird to see you in print because you're usually in solids, but I I really like this a lot. Okay, so Suhaila woke up. Muhammad is ready. Suha, are you ready? Are you ready? Because we need to go downstairs basically like right. now. Okay. <laughs> We just came to our meeting point to meet with the driver who's taking us to the tour and uh, we're pretty much just waiting for everyone else to arrive as you can see it's only Suhaila and myself Muhammad went to get some food for us because we didn't have a chance to have breakfast this morning so little though no there's another one that he, he said, said it's gonna last two minutes. minutes oh okay that's not bad yeah. how do you guys feel though so far actually i thought 
I would get the adrenaline rush, but yeah. I didn't get that. Bro, it's not high. Yeah. That's not high at all. It's not high at all, actually. Oh, you feel good, though? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, she, awesome. she's sweating. Are you scared? Like, I, was, yeah, I was honestly asking. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> chilling <laughs> here, sweating. and. So Halo's, you know. like, so Halo's like, can we be the last ones on? I'm like, no, I want to be the first ones to get it over with. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Oh, man. Yo, so I'm literally getting bit by mosquitoes, man, everywhere. Like, but I just, I'm just waiting for them to finish up. Oh, I think they're about to go. And oh, now they got one more to go. Oh man, it's hot as hell too. Let's go, Maya. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> like she she did this before in Venezuela. <laughs> Good job. Let me get Sua. What's Camina? Walk. Walk the steps. Good job. Come on, Sua, you got this. Feet, bro. There you go. Oh shit! Use your feet. Use your feet. Hey, hey! Something like that. <laughs> Come on, you did good. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, guys. So we yeah. just did like about three different zip lines. Yeah. And, you still and got one more. we still have one more to go. But the mosquitoes go. These mosquitoes don't play. They're literally biting every part of our bodies. It's insane. Yeah, I'm just sitting here getting bit up. Yeah, and Hamid can't go on it, so he's just. Oh, I've been Taking sharing. It for I've been the doing, team. He's yeah. just getting bitten everywhere. That's all good. <laughs> so we're waiting here for a group to finish. Yep. So we can go on our third and last round. Yes, ma'am. Bring back, let's go. Bring back all the way. Bring oh. back straight. Bring back straight. One. That's it. Keep it fishing for two minutes. Okay, one. Two. <laughs> three. Come. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be faster. Hey, <laughs> Oh, look at you, little fish. Little fish lady. Uh oh, oh. How's it feel? It's extremely cold. <laughs> hot but there's yes. moments of breeze so it's not that bad um but it's so beautiful what do you think of it Sula? it's so pretty here right so it's just really hot but <laughs> very beautiful it is hot not as bad as i thought it would be um i definitely see why it's one of the seven wonders it's honestly it is breathtaking it's beautiful yeah here it is right in front of us yep. As soon as we got here, I was like, wait, I need to take photos immediately because um, this place gets super crowded and I'm glad that we took pictures because now it's gotten very crowded and it's about what? Is it like 1 a.m.? It's a, no, it's 11.46. No, it's early. Oh my god. I know. Okay. We got here around, what, like 9.30ish? Yeah. Um, so the time that we got here was pretty empty, but then now there's, there's more people and I'm sure by the afternoon time there'll be way more people than now. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, Look at the view. 
It's so incredible. It's you, closed though. You can't you can't go inside. Yeah, I thought we were able to go inside and see um, like the gallery because they have some like paintings and they have yeah like they have tombs. tombs. But apparently they closed it off in 2006. Yeah. So as soon as it, when became, it became one of like the seven wonders. Yeah, when it became one of the seven wonders of the world, um, they closed it off. So now if you were to visit, you can only see that outside of it and also everything surrounding it. Definitely recommend you guys coming here it's about two hours and a half from Tulum it's definitely far away but it's it completely long, because our driver was talking the whole time he was pretty cool he was very informative he was giving us all the notes about the Mayan history so he kept us busy on the way here it didn't even feel that long and you get to see like inner parts of like Mexico like the little town yeah and stuff. yeah so he was giving us history about Mexico but if you don't have a driver that talks <laughs> compared to yes like two lot, days ago the cenote we went two days ago I I like this, this one. one's a, a lot better a yeah. lot better because it's wide open it's so open and it's like deeper. it's much bigger yeah the other one was uh, a smaller one, was like one a little the little kids one <laughs> <laughs> yeah little kid kid cenote this one was awesome and that's not even the most popular one there's another one that apparently is uh, by Chichitza, yeah. So far, what are your thoughts on Tulum? Honestly, it's so nice. I love it, Willow. And I'm not just saying that, uh, but the biggest thing I didn't know is um, Tulum is just straight up touristy. Like, yeah. Everything is 100% touristy. Yeah. Um, if you're trying to get like that Mexican culture, you're not going to find it in Tulum. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's my biggest takeaway. Other than that, man, everything has been nice. Uh, people are chill. Yeah. The weather is hot all year round, so that's a good thing. She's having fun. You're having fun. Yeah, we're having a lot we're of fun. We're eating good food. I think we've had the most fun and done the most activity on this trip. That's why. That's yeah. really true kind of sad because we've done a lot of trips. Yeah. So we've done ATV. Yeah. We've done two uh, cenotes. 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 Two, two cenotes. Uh, one zip line that yeah. you all did. Yeah. Um, we went into a museum. Yeah. We went to the pyramids. We went to the other museum. We went to another museum. We've done a lot. We went outside like Pablo Escobar's house. Oh. Uh, well, we, we attempted to go to Pablo Escobar's house, but um, apparently, apparently the very, very Instagram worthy place of Casa, Casa Malca is closed off. They closed it's, six months ago. Yeah, they closed it six months ago, and it's only for those who stay in the hotel that can visit that very popular place. But anyways, oh now that we're done with the cenote, we're going to go have something to eat. Um, and then after that, the tour guy said he's going to take us to some um, village and then we'll be done for today's tour. Um, tomorrow is our last day and tomorrow... <laughs> I know, it's so sad, right? I don't want to go back home. I don't want to go back home. But tomorrow is our last day and we're also going to do a tour where we ATV because we just couldn't have enough of ATVing. We loved it so much, we want to do it again. Possibly swim in another cenote. Good. Just one nose? One yeah. nostril? <laughs> one nose. <laughs> one nostril? She has, oh, she has two noses. You're done? <laughs> That's it? Okay. Yeah. Good job. You ready, Swell? It's not bad. I mean, if you think about you it, it's quiet. 
If you think about it, instead of going and waiting in line for like an hour, like. Yeah, that was very quick. Oh my god, yeah, my yes. eyes, no. I closed my eyes because I was like, oh. my turn. Oh. You know, we're all negative. Inshallah, we're all negative. <laughs> and if we're not, then we're we get two this. weeks here. <laughs> but we've been safe. We had, our, we had our bad. mask on everywhere we went. Yeah, they, um, they're they so much better. They're COVID. stricter. I like yeah. that. Yeah, because they have like security guards at night. Like they're, they're way walk. stricter here than they are in the U.S. I mean, here's the thing, right? You can still have fun. You can still do your thing. You don't have to wear it everywhere you go. But in main places, you should put no, it on. No, but you saw every packed. night there's police that are making packed. sure yeah. everyone's wearing their masks. And, and they'll, they don't have bags of masks to give. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I mean, they're trying to do because they never shut down. So. Well, I guess. You got it, Mo. Yay. Yeah, they make you watery. <laughs> <laughs> the face. Hey guys, so today is our very last day yep. in Tulum and we decided to go ATV in one more time because we enjoyed it so much last time we did it which was about like three four days ago yeah. what better way to end Tulum than with ATV ride right? Yeah. 100% and after that we're gonna go to uh, Cenote a Another, cenote a nice, a nice one a nice cenote yesterday cenote was so it was fun. Cool. It was so fun. It was so nice and big and yeah. literally, oh my god, it was a dream. It was, it was like a so nice circle, but like just so nice, so colorful. You see the waterfall, everything. And the water, it, it was, was so just, nice. Oh. You, see little, you see the little fishes swimming around. Yeah, it was incredible. So today, ATV mm -hmm. and cenote, and chill. then chill, and then, go eat. Um, and then yeah, eat, and then go back home, which is so sad. I yeah. definitely do not want to go back home. Well, this trip has been so incredible. It has been so much fun. Yeah. better than the other one this one's They're way better so it's, many it's dips. Like, <laughs> you're like through the jungle jungle like you know what i'm saying it was <laughs> awesome dusty my apple watch. oh my god that look how <laughs> look how dirty my pants are my pants are no longer look, look white definitely felt it like oh this my one god was so i felt bumpy. it throughout my whole body yeah but it was so it was fun. like hills and dips and potholes it was so did i scare you or was i good no you're Great driver, Mashallah, Mashallah, you're an amazing driver. But I, was surprised. I still felt every single Yeah. There's nothing you could do to control that because you guys also weigh together, combine weight yeah. on the ATV. Oh, yeah. Uh, like like me, I'm, I'm heavy. Yeah. So every time I dipped, I was trying to stand up, but I still felt it. So I was like, whatever, <laughs> I'm just gonna sit back. I kept hearing my head and it was going boom. Yep. <laughs> because it's it's a drop. Like you're driving and then the rocks is like, so I'm Yo, trying to get it at an angle. And then at the end, I was like, bro, I'm, it's, it you is what it up. is. I just kept, you no, I'm up. like, I'm not even gonna try to. You, those hills though, they, were, so, they were so And the turns, high. there was one turn where I was going fast, I felt my like leg go up, I was like, ooh, I was like, <laughs> no, you can feel it, but no, you guys did real good, Wallah. Suhaila was actually awesome. She was doing Thank good, Wallah. Yeah, the tour guide said that Suhaila was a really good driver, and awesome. you too. But good since good. we were behind him, he well, said- it was only two of us. Yeah, yeah he so, said, when you guys are like, when when the people are good drivers, they get to enjoy their job because they go really fast. They, yeah, it's enjoyable. Yeah. He kept taking off and I was like, okay. Yeah, and he's like, when, when the people come and they're bad drivers, then we have to slow down every corner so it's not enjoyable. So yeah. he was like, you guys are amazing. Yeah, we didn't stop. So now that we're done, we're gonna go to a cenote. It's a, apparently, our tour guide said it's a really big one. So we're gonna go there, change, get into a swimsuit, and in. I'm, a, I'm ahead of you guys. No, you're I'm good, but you're a little dusty now. You're dusty. wearing your swimsuit. I know, it's all good. <laughs> I'm gonna jump Here. right in. Okay. I forgot my water shoes at the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, I'm so not prepared for this. Hmm? So we are back to 
to our apartment. No. Um, we pretty much just finished the cenote, went to a supermarket nearby to get some snacks and we're back to the apartment. Yeah, so pretty much today was so fun. We did ATV, we showed you guys that in the footage as well as uh, the cenotes. Cenotes was so good and I believe I accomplished or I came through one of my fears as they say. Omaya jumped up from this like kind of mid-high point yeah. and she was like, do it, do it. So I just did it too, so. It was pretty high. It was but, pretty high for Mo, okay? Yeah, because it's in the it's deep It's a starting end. point. Yeah, so I liked it. Hopefully now next time, maybe sometime next year, I do like skydiving or something or like that. Or zip lining. Zip lining. That so, would be fun if we could do that together. Yeah, um, I'm just trying to, you know, every year try to work on myself to whatever fear or phobia I have to just try what? to try to- A little bit. I, Baby steps. Yeah, that's it. Yes. We're, we're stepping. Yes. But now, as Omaya said, we're back here. We stopped at the supermarket. We got some candy. We got our family members, some little souvenirs. Um, and we're just chilling right now. We're kind of beat. Oh, we're going to yeah. wash up. We got some uh, dinner reservations uh, for the last night. Yes. So that's going to be fun. It's one of the restaurants we've been going to out here. So, But yeah, like Omaya said, is we're bummed out. Today's the last day. But we're trying to make the most out of it. We're just gonna wash up and just chill and head out because Saturday is really busy. Yes, really busy. Yeah. It gets backed up with traffic. Yeah, and the so. thing too, the other thing is our we gotta leave here at five in the morning because it's a two hour drive to Cancun. And they told us for international flights, we have to be there three hours earlier. So I don't even think we're gonna get some sleep tonight. Yeah, so. <laughs> we're pretty much not gonna get any sleep. Yeah. Um, because of the crazy hours that we have to leave the hotel by. So yeah. leave at five in the morning, what? have a two hour drive to Cancun, and from Cancun, stay in the airport for three hours, and then board to Florida, which is another two hours. Not bad at all, it's actually super close. And yeah. inshallah, inshallah, this will not be the last time we will be in Mexico, inshallah. because uh, it was just so amazing, a great experience, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Um, I can see us coming back again and again inshallah. and again. More than anything, I'm just excited because we're going like a day before Ramadan, Yay! so inshallah we're gonna start um you know having ramadan with our family we're gonna do ramadan content so we're excited to go back home yes so we can get that going as we're well. so excited for ramadan we're so excited for ramadan alhamdulillah well guys this is it this is the end of the vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed it um i tried to vlog as much as i could it's also really hard to pick up the camera when you're having so much fun hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and inshallah like muhammad said we will have a lot more content coming for ramadan inshallah i love you guys so much if you enjoy the vlog then give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to be part of our youtube family and like always we'll see you next week Salam.